Hello everyone. Today I will introduce the calendar and temper detect example code based on MSP430 microcontroller and show the graphical user interface with this example code. Calendar is a common function on microcontrollers. It provides time information in human interaction and generates timestamps for some events. Temper detect is a typical application for timestamps. When a temper event is detected, the preset operation will be executed and the timestamp will be recorded. In this use case, low power mode is needed to reduce consumption. First, describe the development environment of the example code on the FR2433 launchpad. Port 2.3 is used as the import of temper detect. Port 2.7 is used to be triggered to enter the editable calendar mode. Port 1.0 is used to control LED1. It indicates whether the temper event is detected. Port 1.1 is used to control LED2. It indicates whether microcontrol is in editable calendar mode. The back channel UART over USB is used to communicate with the host GUI. Based on the above scenarios, we decide this example code. In the main program flowchart, after initialization, the microcontroller is in non-editable calendar mode. It enters low power mode and waits for interrupt requests. The first interrupt request comes from the RTC model. It is sent to once every one second. It is used to update the calendar and send data to host through UART. The second interrupt request comes from the port. Port 2.3 is used to detect temporary events. Port 2.7 is used to be triggered to enter the calendar editable mode. In the calendar editable mode, the microcontroller remains active. It waits to receive data from the host. When the finish editing command is received, microcontroller will return to the non-editable calendar mode and enter low power mode. The following describes the software library used in the example code. Real-time clock library is a TR library for calendar functions. It defines variables for storing calendar information and functions for updating calendars. Compute through power loss is a TI library used in RPM.5. CTPL uses the feature of FRAM not to lose data when it is powered down. The contents of registers, CPU, and SRAM are stored to FRAM when entering RPM.5, and they are restored from FRAM when waking up. Thereby, initialization can be avoided, and the value stored in SRAM will not be lost. Let's demonstrate the sample program that supports GUI. Open the GUI interface. Use the USB data cable to connect the computer and the launchpad. At this time, the launchpad has been powered by the USB. FR2433 microcontroller starts to work. In the GUI interface, we can see that three dials and text box in the second row is updated in real time. Press the button corresponding to port 2.3 on the launchpad. The timestamp in the third row will be loaded. The red LED will light up, and the LED corresponding to port 1.0 on the launchpad will also light up. Press the button corresponding to port 2.7 on the launchpad. The text box in the fourth row will become editable. The green light will light up, and the LED corresponding to port 1.1 on the launchpad will also light up. Edit the text box and press Enter. The calendar will be updated right now. Press the Finish Edit button.
the microcontroller will exit the calendar edit mode. The text box will be non-editable, and the green light on the right side will go out. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and try the provided GUI yourself, and check out the code example. The technique note is available to read for much deeper design details. We hope you enjoyed this video and come back for new MSP430 housekeeping topics. Have a great day.